Hi, I'm Danny Holmes from the University of Melbourne studying a PhD in the Centre for Quantum Computing and Communication Technology. In order to make a qubit system, you just need a two energy level system, such as an electron spin in a magnetic field, which is either spin up or spin down. One really good way to confine this electron is to have a donor nucleus in silicon that confines this electron spin. And at the University of Melbourne, we're using ion implantation to insert the donors in silicon. And so we're looking at different group five donors that can be implanted in silicon. Phosphorus is the standard spin half system, but I am looking at bismuth, which is slightly more exotic. It's got higher nuclear spin, which has different energy levels, and it can perform clock transitions. Um, during this ion implantation, it's a very damaging process to the silicon crystal, and so we need to provide suitable anneals to repair this structure. And so during my research, I was looking at different times and temperatures of anneal to successfully repair the silicon crystal, and we managed to demonstrate electrical activation of the bismuth implanted 20 nanometers below the surface, which would be suitable for later fabricating a qubit device on top using surface electronics. And I showed this using electron spin resonance.